Hey YouTube Gundam here, welcome back to my Empire at War going into Space Engineers. We're doing the Corvettes today, we're starting off with them one at a time. Today, as the Imperial Star Destroyer Husk is in the background, we are starting with these three little guys, the Corvettes. Now there are other fighter killers, and there are other Corvettes, but I want to get these three out of the way. These are the three ch easiest to build and the three most common. Common. The others are slightly bigger and are more, yeah, they're more like frigates anyways. These are Corvettes. So, let's get started. So to start with, we're going to take a look at the Rebel Alliance, the good guys. The Corellian Corvette, yes, it doesn't look very good, it doesn't look very appealing, but it fits its function. <coughs> The Corellian Corvette here is packed with a very small number of laser cannons. You have these five here, which are your main armament, really. Well, the main turreted armament on the top here. This is supposed to be, obviously, those uh, bits on the side, and this is supposed to be different in height, but, you know, limitations space engineers are going to keep the size down. You have two laser cannons flanking the main door. You have uh, two laser cannons top and bottom. And you have four laser cannons on the top in the midsection with two rotary blasters for taking out fighters and some missiles. And two forward mounted laser cannons for the actual operators to have some fun with. <laughs> Only eight laser cannons with only two rotary blasters. It's not that good, but eh. what it lacks in punch, it makes up for in sheer speed. Not maneuverability, but speed. This is its speed. Very fast in a straight line. Maneuverability, eh, well, turning is okay, going up and down not so much now there are a few gyros but it could use a few more taking a look at the ship on the inside the gravity generator here right in this which is literally the entirety of the command bridge this is literally everywhere that the crew can be speaking of the crew you have the oxygen generator there with the ventilation unit right there you have covered conveyors leading to the back with some cargo, by the way, in the front. I need to slow this down. You have cargo in the front here, a little. You have more cargo here, followed by little conveyors for those turrets, and more cargo with an oxygen tank behind that. <coughs> I really should work on the design a little better. But the point was to get around that oxygen tanks. These conveyors lead to the guns there, and the connectors here. Which, by the way, the connectors that are on the sides aren't necessary. They just give a nice little added capability of making the entire thing capable of holding fighters. More than just a couple. Flying back the conveyor, you get to the main section, which has the two primary connectors and the two rotaries leading to the back. This is ability that it will be on all ships. Remote control, in case you want to control it from a starbase. So there's the remote control block. So technically you can KO the ship by hitting it there, but it's going to take a few hits. Immediately behind that, there are several gyros. This is definitively a weak spot. Just shoot along this entire red bit and you'll knock out the gyros. <coughs> well, some of them. Now, there are, mo well, there's another one there, but there's a bunch of batteries here. An entire line of batteries around those engines with more gyros on the bottom <coughs> and more gyros hiding on the top and along the conveyor leading through the reactor. So maneuverability is 
it is all right uh, when it comes to the gyros. I mean, it's not good, but it's not terrible. I actually haven't flown this thing yet. But you may need to do this with thruster damage off. Having this big empty area here allows the ship to remain much lighter than it normally would otherwise. And yes, these are, I believe, are the only two reactors on the entire ship. These are the only things that power it. I don't believe there's any other nuclear reactors anywhere. So that's all the power you've got. Some batteries and that only. Yeah, that's it. Just two great big hunking nuclear reactors. Now what that means is you do have a lot of power. But with the batteries you can survive a bit. And you do have a bunch of power. But it's not going to uh, last if it takes too many hits. Luckily the reactors are in the middle so you gotta lose a lot to get to them. The beacon directly behind it with, at the bottom, a jump drive. I actually had to uh, ruin the shape a little. These are supposed to go all the way back. In order to protect that, I needed to bring it more forward. I, I had it like this up here, as you can see, but in order to make room for the jump drive, I had to ruin the shape and bring it forward. <clears throat> Sacrifices to make it functional. It's Star Wars. Ships need to be able to go through hyperspace, right? So there's a jump drive. And this is a three block gap, which should be enough to protect it uh, from thruster damage. We'll find out. So, let's take the same for a spin. Rotation, as I mentioned, not bad. I mean, it could do better, though. Because that's, you, in order to stop, really, that's all you have. Now, this is what's really not so great moving from side to side. There's 10 meters a second, but it, it's not terrible. And the rotation here, although it's bad, it could easily be worse. You'll see that soon enough with the Crusader gunship. Now, going up and down is pretty awful, though. That's only 5 meters a second there. You're only stopping here. There we go. Now, the reverse thrust isn't going to be too great. But it's not going to be terrible. There's a few engines reversing. There's five, so it is the fastest thus far reversing, but that's only because we haven't engaged the main engine. So it should go something like this. Ten... 20, 30, 40, 50. So maneuvering around is easy as long as you remember to use your rear thrusters to allow you to change your direction. I mean, your rear primary engines to uh, change your course. You are, it is actually overall not bad. But you're going to have to rely on those main engines in order to get you going for the most part. Because without them, you're in trouble. So whip it around, use the big ones, slow you down, and you're good. So, Corellian Corvette. It's very good in a straight line. All other directions suffer. I really should fly these things before I show them around. Oh well. <laughs> so that's the Corvette Corvette. Little bitty, but it gets the job done. You're gonna have a pain in the butt if this uh, it's broken, but no internal guns either. It has very little internal space. Next, 